So this is one of Phil's friend's tractors. Uh, Phil will tell you a little bit about it. Phil? Yeah, Leyland 344, 1973. Rough and ready, but it works. It does the job. And it's a grandmother kit. It is, yeah. So no, what... fancy, no fancy technology, everything's hydraulic. What kind of horsepower will this be? Probably 30 summer. Is it? Yeah. Still got pick up pitch, everything you want. Front end loader. It is, like you say. Has he never bothered about thinking I'm going to no. redo it up or anything? Is he just kind of bloke just to say, we'll leave it as it is? Leave it as it is. There's more people saying that now. You heard it. But so yeah. what what are these like to reliability compared to obviously Ferguson's and stuff are they or Ford's? They're good. They're good reliable beast. They're solid long, solid engine. So what engine would be in this then? Four cylinder, that's as much as I can tell you. Yeah, yeah. But if you look, instead of having a foot operated clutch, you've got a hand operated clutch. Bloody hell. For your PTO. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, you got your normal foot clutch, but then you've got your hand PTO for your PT hand clutch for your PTO. What does he do with this and what's he using it for? Mucking out, feeding his horse, general stuff. I've been using it for put the mower on the back of it and run around with it. Well, and it runs fine, yeah? Yeah, I mowed a lot of with it a few months back when it was dry. Yeah. Well, how many acres is he then, roughly about? about 10. Is he, yeah? Yeah. Is it something you see yourself uh, maybe ending up with when he's finished with it? Maybe so. So what kind of value is something like this then? Because looks wise at that. Mechanically, it's sound. It just wants the cab sorting. Yeah, yeah. You've got the doors for it. The glass is in the doors. It just just wants to tighten up. You know. Do they go for similar money to like a Massey Ferguson or not really? No. A bit less, which is a shame because that's the first one I've ever driven. You heard it. And I'm very, very impressed. I mean, that's got 10 speed gearbox against an 8 of a Fergie. So, did they, when these brought them out, did they always come with a cab on, or is that like no. an extended cab that goes on top of it? That's the safety frame cab that came out when they made them compulsory. But yeah, like you say, it looks very well used, doesn't it? It does that. Yeah, I don't know what hours it's done. The clock stopped years ago. But, like I say, it's sad to you. Till Till I met Frank a couple of years back, I was driving through in mine. He said, "Can you have a look at this one?" I said, "Yeah." And the oil filters here, and they put a brass washer on it and a wood screw instead of a proper bloody job to seal it. So I just got a new filter house in sorted. So you can still get parts for these yeah. as well, then, can you? Oh, easy, easy. Oh, they take a bit of getting second hand. What paint? Painting? The exhaust. <laughs> it's a bit. Uh, yeah, just to stop yeah. out. Yeah, it's quite. It's something that you could obviously. D I don't bother about it. It runs. But yeah, like I say, it's nice just to see other people's tractors. I guess in it, there'll be yeah. there'll be a lot of these out there in this condition as well, won't they? So. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of them. If you, I think, if you were to start renovating that, you it costs it. you a lot of money as well. I want it yeah. to do that because it's like they'll have a lot of work to do to something like that. And if it's running fine, yeah, why not? It leaks a bit of oil, it chucks a bit of black smoke out, it's 73, that's what, 83, 93, two, that's 20, 50 year old, it's entitled to puff a bit. It is, yeah. A yeah. 50 year old woman would be puffing, I think, as well. She would the work I'd put it through. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>